I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I got another project. I got a hydraulic cylinder and a pump that needs some repair. This is an Interpac hydraulic system. This particular one came with a mounted cylinder and a hydraulic pump. But there's one problem. Uh, actually, there's multiple problems with the pump, but this is the one we're going to attack today. You're supposed to be able to just open this little valve and let the cylinder retract. The problem is, sometime in the past, this little valve got bent and that valve handle got broken off of it. So I need to make a new handle. Now to get this valve out so I can straighten it, there's a little Allen bolt right here on the side. By using this hex key, I can remove that socket head cap screw. Then I can spin this valve out. It's not easy. The handle would make this a lot easier, but then I wouldn't need to be doing it. I think the thing to do with this is to put it in the hydraulic press and straighten it out. I have to be rather careful because this sealing surface has to be kept pristine and I don't want to snap this little thing off. Now it's 18 bucks to replace this. If it breaks, I'll have to buy a new one. But I would rather not. After a little thinking, I decided that the best way to straighten that pin is to make a little jig to hold it with so that I don't bend those parts that I don't want to bend and I don't damage anything. So it's off to the South Bend Lake. It's not perfect. It's a lot closer than it was. Might just be at a point where I'm going to say close enough. 
Yep, I think if I go much further, I'm going to damage it. Perfection is a goal. No kinks anywhere else in the shaft. I think we're good. Yeah, this has got a dimple right there. I suppose I could build a fixture to support it here and support it there and push on that ring. But there gets to be a point where you just go, you know, it's pretty darn good. It's really bad to go to failure by passing right on through success. That was a lot easier than a hacksaw. Now we're going to use this rig to make a bunch of knobs. Because I don't have just one knob that I need. With the fine teeth on a hacksaw, they're cutting a broad surface to get plugged up. So by rolling the surface back and forth, the saw blade can clear itself and cut faster. Put this piece of wood down here so I don't bang into the ways. Now all I have to do is go out in the morning when I got daylight and press this nicely knurled handle on that shaft. Now this little part with the plastic handle cost $18. Probably could have just spent the $18. But then I wouldn't have had the fun of turning on and 
brand shiny new aluminum knurled handle all on my own if you have any suggestions for a new video questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel just drop a note in the comments you know i read them all thanks for watching